On air, online, and on your smart speaker. Royal Copenhagen. More than just ice cream. Open every day for food and coffee. Party at the Palace. Good morning, I'm Celeste Mitsu. 22,000 spectators have gathered outside Buckingham Palace to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Her Majesty watched the concert from Windsor Castle. The star-studded lineup included Elton John, Rod Stewart and Aussie Jason Donovan. Overnight, the monarch met with our four Australian of the Year winners, laughing with Dil Norcott after reminiscing about opening our Parliament. I don't know whether it's still there, but there's a little pond inside. I wondered how many people had fallen into it. Australian are being warned to brace themselves for more cost of living hikes. New Treasurer Jim Chalmers has revealed inflation is far worse than what the Morrison government let on and it's set to put further pressure on interest rates. The Prime Minister will fly to Indonesia today for high-level trade talks. The three-day trip is all about boosting the relationship between the two nations. Discussions will also be held over China's growing influence in the Indo-Pacific. It follows a new revelation a Chinese fighter plane was targeting an Aussie ship in the South China to see back in late May. A mixture of old and new faces will make up the new look coalition front bench. Leader Peter Dutton hinted at Sky his shadow cabinet will feature two Victorian female senators. Yes, it's important for us to have uh, as many women as possible on the front bench and, and that will be a feature of the, the front bench that we announce later today. And the wintry blast will last a little longer with another cold front passing through the southeastern states. A warning for damaging winds of 90 k's per hour is forecast for some parts of New South Wales and Victoria. With Money Me, you get low interest rates and approvals in minutes. Download the Money Me app today. Approved applicants only. T's and C's apply. A career high 23 contested possessions for Max Gorn wasn't enough to get Melbourne over the line with the Swans. The D's losing their second consecutive match by 12 points. Later today, it's a dual celebration for the Hawks with Luke Bruce and Liam Shields playing their 250th match against the Pies at the G. Shields is looking forward to welcoming back Ned Reeves. Yeah, it has. Uh, it was a bit tough last week, um, especially Ned. Um, you know, it would add a lot to the side. And world number one, Iga Swiatek has won her second French Open title, defeating Coco Golf. Sell your home with Miller One and John for a two thousand dollar fuel card. Checking the Limestone Coast forecast and there's plenty of rain on the way. A top of 11 but plenty of showers around. Down to 6 tonight. 12 tomorrow with showers and down to 11 on Tuesday. Our listener app is the new home of radio, podcast, music and news. Join up to listen live or on demand.